Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about our next machine, which is one of the most important machines in the game, and that is the sugar mill. So let's just get started by the game. As we can see, Alfred came, but he gave me nothing because I haven't helped anyone um, in these days. So obviously, I'm not going to have any gift cards or thank you letters. So I'm going to put this machine here and I'm going to come over here. So there's a little message on the top, which I'm going to be checking. What is it? All right. So that is Haiti Kitchen Fresh Pasta. All right. So the valley has ended, but unfortunately I didn't do anything. Um, so I'm going to leave the valley. I didn't play. I was really busy. So yeah. And we're having the Town Wizard of Double Coins event, which is fine. Not my favorite because I like the double XP and rotation points more. So my boat is here and I'm just going to fill this. I got some carrot cakes. This is blackberry muffin. And this is the pasta carbonara. So I'm just going to start filling the boat. I can do this. I'm going to be asking for help. And I'm going to come over here. So let's harvest some crops. We've got some soybeans and sugar canes. So sugar canes are important. They're related to the sugar mill. Oh, we just got a plank, which is awesome. I really need planks, so that's a good thing. My silo is full, so I'm probably going to go with some wheat. And we're going to plant some corn. All right, there we go. That's some wheat and that is some corn. Gonna have a look at my wizards. Mm, 163 tea leaves, only for 4,107 4, coins. Very low, not gonna sell them. And nope, that's a big no. Never sell your souls and access to these wizards. They're so greedy. All right, guys, I'm gonna come to the machine for today. And this machine video was highly requested by one of my YouTube friends, Minecraft Guy. So, yeah, let's just have a look at the design of this machine. The design of this machine is not that pretty. It looks really kind of industrial. So, you guys can see this is basically a kind of a blue press, which is extracting the sugars and juice from the sugar canes between these heavy iron rods. What are they? Rollers. So on the left, you guys can see there's a little hole, there's a black bowel um, from where your sugars and sugarcane juice comes. So when you fully master it, there, there's a lot of difference between the old version and your fully mastered version. And I think this is only related to the sugar mill. Because normally the other machines, when they get a star, there's not that of a difference. But when you fully master this machine, that really looks a lot obvious. The mastery of this machine is also kind of different, 25 hours for the first star, 100 hours for the second star, and 400 hours for the final star, which means your sugar mill will be fully mastered. So here's my sugar mill, which is fully mastered, and you guys can see the crank and the roller, their color has been changed to kind of um, golden, and there's a star. So yeah, the fully master version looks a little pretty. So I made a lot of sugar stuff and I'm just gonna collect. So you get only six XP for one white sugar and for the syrup you get 11 XP. Now this is a very important machine in the game. Why? Because this is a raw material machine. It makes the things, it makes the products that are ingredients to make other, so many products in the game. For example, every third thing in the game needs sugars. All the cakes are going to need a lot of sugars. All the ice creams are going to need a lot of sugars. Um, your candies, your other stuff in the game. You're going to need like a lot of sugars in the game. And that is why the products of this machine are really rare. I do not recommend selling them. I do not even recommend trading them or like whatever. But like for example, right now I have a lot. I can trade, but if you only have 10, 20, you should probably save them. But if you're a high level player, like your level 60 to 70 to 80, then you should have like more of the sugars. My main focus is always to have at least 50 or over 50 of every sugar in the game because they're so imp important. And my playing style is also very different. I play a lot when I'm playing. I play town, I do boats. So my stuff gets slow real quick. 
And so I have to make a lot of things and that's obviously going to need a lot of sugars. So for me, sugars are really important and I have to keep a lot of them. That's why I keep 50 to 60. But if you're a low level player, you can keep 10 to 20 at least. That's totally your choice. It totally depends on how many products you make and what is your playing style. So the basic thing that you're going to need um, for your sugar mill is only one thing actually, and that's sugar canes. Sugar canes take 30 minutes to be grown. And they're not that hard to get from the paper as well. Sometimes you can find them in the paper. They're, I won't say they're rare, but they do get sold quickly. Um, the thing is, you can also find them in the paper, and that's not that hard. But they only take um, 30 minutes. It's not a lot. You can also have a good amount of them. You can also make a lot of money. So I keep about 150 of the sugar canes. And I'm going to start talking about the products now. Oh, I forgot to give you guys a little background information. This machine unlocks at... Level 7, it's a low-level machine, only 350 coins, and it's only going to take 6 hours to be built. So we're going to start talking about the products. The first product that we have is a brown sugar, only going to need one sugar cane, going to take 20 minutes or 17 minutes on a fully mastered machine. Now, this machine is going to be really, really easy to fully master. And the fun fact is, I think this is probably the first machine ever in the game to be fully mastered. My first machine ever in the game that I fully mastered for the very first time was this machine. I remember I didn't have any of the machine fully mastered. So this machine I have a lot of memories with because this was the very first machine that I fully mastered. And I was so, so excited. I remember that day. I literally used to go to other people's farms just to have a look at their fully mastered sh um, sugar mill because I really used to enjoy sugar uh, mastering my machines. My playing style is different. I have always loved to fully master machines. I know some people don't, but this is just a natural thing in the game that I really, really like about machines. I love to fully master them. So the second product is the white sugar. This is going to take a little bit of time. 40 minutes or 34 minutes on a fully mastered machine. Going to need two sugar cans. Unlocks at level 30. So I'm going to put one. Now syrup unlocks at level 18. It's going to take 1 hour 30 minutes or 1 hour 16 minutes. On a fully mastered machine, going to need a lot more sugar canes, uh, four sugar canes for one. So you guys can see I currently have crazy amount of sugars, which is cool. I have 122 of the brown, then I have a lot of white, and then I also have a syrup. So sugars, I do get asked in the boats. If I get a boat asking for the sugars, I basically always ask for help on those crates. I never fool by myself because I always need sugar or I just skip those boats. So if you're a low-level player, I really do not recommend doing the boats that ask for a lot of cheese, dairy, and sugar stuff. So never do those kind of machines. I know low-level players basically don't have a lot of knowledge. So they just, you know, they start filling those crates and then they don't have that. So their boat just gets ruined. They can't even fully complete the boat. So now I'm going to come to the shop and I'm going to do a little analytics on all the products. And... I do not recommend selling these products. So one for 32 coins, 10 for 324 coins, which is similar to the popcorn's price. And this is like the brown sugar, 10 white sugar for 504 coins, one for 50. And syrup is kind of expensive. You can sell syrup because I don't think there are a lot of uses of syrup in the game though. So one syrup for um, 90 coins. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to sell 10 of every sugars. I normally don't sell them, but I have a lot. It's not a problem. And yeah, I'm just going to let them stay here. Any lucky person can buy them. So yeah, I think that was it for this machine. There are not a lot of things to talk about. There are only three products. Although these products are low-low products, but their importance is really high. Sugars, again, I'm saying you're going to need almost everywhere. For example, in your um, coffee kiosk, you're going to need a lot of sugars and... I think, no, you don't need them in the tea, though. But there's so many uses of the sugar in the game. And also, I think the prediction time of the peanuts have been... Let me have a look. It's been a while. I think newspaper. Is the peanut apocalypse over? No, nope, people are still, still selling the peanuts. All right, guys, that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Haiti videos I'll be posting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.